Hello students. Today we will start the fourth chapter of your textbook that is simple equations. Simple equations. Last year you have learned what is an equation, how to solve it by trial and error method. Let us revise once again what is an equation. Now 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. This one you know. Here now the sum of 2 and 3 is equal to 5. Here we are using the equal sign. So therefore this is called what? A numerical equation. Numerals means what? Numbers. So this is called a numerical equation. Numerical equation. Now only numbers are there so therefore it is called what a numerical equation uh, means we can say that the equation is a mathematical statement with the equal sign. Now let us take one example the sum of the sum of a number and 5 is 11. How to write the equation for this statement? We don't know what is that number. So, let us write, let the number be, let the number be x. So, the sum, sum means what? Addition. So, the sum of a number x and phi is equal to what? 11. Is means what? Equal. So, the sum of a number and phi is equal to 11. So here in this case, here we are using the unknown letter that is x. So this unknown letter is called a variable. So it is not compulsory that you can use only all, uh, the letter x. You can use any letter like y, only second letter that is y, z, p, q, r, t, any letters you can use. So this equation has two parts. One means left side, left side of the equation is called left hand side and second that is the right side, right, right side of the equation is called what? Right hand side. That is left hand side and right hand side. In short we write LHS and right side as right hand side that is RHES. Now let us take here one more example. The sum of, the sum of a number and 6 is 15 okay so how to write the equation for this statement now let the number be y let the number be y now so we can use any letter that I already have told so the sum of a number and 6 is 15 so the sum of a number and 6 is 15 15 okay so here the y is called what the unknown term so this unknown term is called a variable that is variable means here the quantity which varies that is quantity which varies so in this equation y is the variable in this equation x is the variable here y is the variable x is the variable then how to find out this unknown term how to find out this unknown term. So we can use what the trial and error method. Trial and error method. Okay. Means what is that trial and error method? Means just we are checking. Just we are trying to find out the value of the y. So value of the y satisfying this equation is called solution of the equation. So let us solve, let us take here y is equal to Five. Okay, let us take y is equal to, you can take any value for y. So, when you substitute value of y in this equation, you should get what RHS. So, here we are substituting y is equal to 5 in the left hand side. So, y is equal to y plus 6. So, y in place of y, what you substitute? 5. So, 5 plus 6 is equal to what you are getting? 11. But what we want in the RHS, that is 15. So, 11 is not is equal to what? 15. So, therefore, here left hand side is not is equal to RHS. So, therefore, we can say that 5 is not the solution of the given equation. 
Now you see we are getting the value nearer to 15. So we will increase the value of y. Let us take y is equal to 6. Okay. We will take y is equal to 6. Now again we will find out the left hand side. That is 6 plus 6. That is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Again here 12 is not, is not equal to 15. So therefore LHS is not equal to RHS. So we can say that y is equal to 6 is not a solution. y is equal to 6 is not a solution of the given equation. Solution of the given equation. Now we will try one more. Now you see you are getting value nearer to 12. So therefore now we will increase the value of y. Let us take y is equal to y is equal to 7. Okay y is equal to 7. Now what is when we substitute y is equal to 7. So 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 we will get. So again y is equal to means you have to try for at least 3 values. So LHS is equal to 7 plus 6 that is equal to what 13 is not equal to 15. So again y is equal to 7 is not a solution of the given equation. Now we will take one more value for y. Let y is equal to 9 y is equal to 9. Now when you substitute y is equal to 9, what you are getting? 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So is equal to what? Here RHS. So therefore LHS is equal to RHS. So we can say that y is equal to 9 is the solution of the given equation. y is equal to 9 is the solution of the given equation. So this is called what? The trial and error method. This method is called what? Trial and error method. Now we will directly we'll start solving examples from the exercise 4.1. Boys you have to download the textbook from net uh, and we are solving examples from exercise 4.1. Now here the what is the question here? The question is check whether the given a value in the bracket is a solution of the given equation or not. Now here n plus 5 is equal to 19 and here in bracket what is given n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1. You have to check whether n is the solution of the given equation or not. Now let us verify whether it is a solution of the given equation or not. So for that you have to find out the left hand side. Your left hand side is n plus 5. In place of n you will substitute 1. So 1 plus 5 is equal to what you are getting? 6. But in RHS what we want? We want 19. So it is not equal to 19. So therefore here LHS is not equal to RHS. So therefore n equal to 1 is not a solution of the given equation is not a solution of the given equation. Now in the second main here uh, six questions are there uh, you can solve by this method. Let us discuss one more example say 4p minus 3 is equal to 13. Now the given value for p is 0. You have to verify 0 is the solution of this equation or not. So again find the left hand side. Your left hand side is equal to what? 4 into p. Here there is no sign between 4 and p means here there is a into sign. So 4 into 0 minus 3. So that is 0 minus 3 is equal to what you are getting? Minus 3. But here in RHS what we want? We want 13. It is not easy, not equal to right hand side. So therefore we can say that yeah, p is equal to 0 is not a solution of the given equation is not a solution of the given equation okay so like this you can solve what the second main now in third main here again you have to solve by what trial and error method so first equation is 5p plus uh, two questions are there so i will discuss only one so that is 5 plus 5p plus 2 is equal to 17 so you have to solve this equation by trial and error method already i have showed you how to solve okay we will discuss one more time now you can take any value see here 5 into p plus 2 is equal to 17 so let us take p is equal to 2 okay p is equal to 2 suppose if you take p is equal to 2 now let us see what is lhs is equal to so 5 into 2 plus 2 so what you are getting 10 plus 2 that is equal to 12 but 
12 is not equal to what? Uh, 17. So, RHS is, LHS is not equal to RHS. So, therefore, we can see that here P equal to 2 is not a solution of the given equation. In value, let P is equal to 3. P is equal to 3. Now, let us take LHS. What is LHS here? LHS is 5 into 3 plus 2. So, that is 5 3 is a 15. 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. In RHS is also what? 17 is there. So, therefore, here LHS is equal to what? RHS. So, therefore, we can say that P equal to 3 is the solution of the given equation. P equal to 3 is the solution of the given equation equation understood how to solve this equation so p equal to 3 is a solution of the given equation okay. now we are discussing fourth main of exercise 4.1 now in fourth main what is given write equation for the following statements now the statements are given you have to convert them into equations now what is given the sum of numbers x and 4 is 9. So, the number x is given. So, the sum of number x, sum means what? Plus. So, the sum of x and 4 is equal to 9. No need to solve the equation. Just you have to write the equation for the given statement. Now, one more example. That is 7 times m plus 7 gets u 77 okay 7 times means what into so 7 times of m plus 7 gets u 77 means what equal to 77 so this is what the equation for the given statement this is what the equation for the given statement okay let us take one more example see if you add 3 to one third of z you get 30 okay if you add 3 to one third of z one third of z means 1 by 3 of z if you add 3 to it that is one third of z plus 3 you get means what equal to is equal to what 30 so this is what the equation for the given statement this is what the equation for the given statement now, fifth mean of the exercise, write the following equation in statement form. In fourth mean, statements were given, you converted them to equation. Now, equations are given, now you have to write them in statement form. Now, you see, P plus 4 is equal to 15. P plus 4 is equal to 15. So, we can write it as the sum of a number p and 4 is equal to 15 the sum of the sum of a number p the sum of a number p and 4 gives 15 you can write it in your own sentence it is not considered that you have to write it in this form only the the sum of or we can say that when 4 is added to p gives 15 you can write like that also okay now now let us discuss one more that is m minus 7 is equal to 3 that is m minus 7 is equal to 3. So you can write it as uh, 7 is subtract when 7 is subtracted from m gives 3 or we can say that the m minus 7 is equal to 3 also you can write okay or the difference of a number m and 7 is equal to uh, 3. So we can say that the number m the number m minus 7 gives 3 the number m minus 7 gives 3 so this is what the statement for this given statement uh, equation now let us discuss one more that is p by 2 plus 2 is equal to 8 so how to write the statement for this equation that is half of a number p plus 2 is equal to 8 or we can say that the sum of uh, the sum of the num sum of two and half of a number p is equal to eight. Like that also you can write. So what the half of okay half of a number p half of a number p is 
added to to gives eight. You can write like this also. Okay. So this is what the statement for statement for this given equation. Now let us discuss sixth main of your exercise four point one. Now just you have to set up the equation for this statement. Let us read this equation. Let us read this statement. Lakshmi's father is forty nine years old. He is four years older than three times Lakshmi's age. Here the instruction is given. Take Lakshmi's age to be y years. So now right hand side will write Lakshmi's father's age. And now so. He is what? Well, Lakshmi's father is what? Four years older than three times Lakshmi's age. Okay, so three times Lakshmi's age means what? Three y. Four years older means what? Four years more is equal to what? The forty nine. You understood why I am writing forty nine here because the Lakshmi's a Lakshmi is four. Lakshmi's father is four years. Older than three times Lakshmi's age, so three y plus four is equal to forty nine. So this is what the equation for the given statement. This is what the equation for the given statement. What is y here? Y is Lakshmi's age because here y we have to use y because here it is already instruction is given. Take Lakshmi's age to be y years. Please see in your textbook page number eighty two. So three y Plus four is equal to forty nine. So just you have to write the equation for the given statement. Let us discuss one more example. Again, you have to write the equation for this statement. Irfan says that he has seven marbles more than five times the marbles Parmit has. Irfan has thirty seven marbles. Take yam to be the number of Parmit's marbles. Okay, again here the comparison comparison is given. <coughs> Irfan has thirty seven marbles, so he is com uh, he is comparing the number of marbles with the permits marbles. Now, so what is given? Irfan says that he has seven marbles more than five times the marbles permit has. Seven marbles more than five times five times means what? Five times, five times yam. Yam is what the number of marbles the permit has. Five yam plus seven is equal to what thirty-seven. Why I am writing thirty-seven here? Thirty-seven is what the number of marbles with Irfan. He is saying that he has seven marbles more than five times. The number of marbles with the permit. So therefore, five m plus seven is equal to thirty-seven. So this is what the equation for this statement. Let us discuss one more example. See again, you have to write the equation for this statement. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is. Twice the lowest marks plus seven. The highest score is eighty-seven. Twice means what? Two times. Here the instruction is given. What? Take the lowest marks to be L. So you have to use the unknown. You have to use L only. Now, now let us write the equation for this uh, statement. A student in her class is twice the lowest mark. So Two times, twice means what? Two times. So twice the lowest marks plus seven gives eighty-seven. That is the highest score is eighty-seven. So therefore, the equation for this statement is twelve plus seven is equal to eighty-seven. So this is what the equation for this statement. Okay, boys. Now we have discussed. Uh, the sixth mean of exercise is four point one. Boys, you have whenever class is on, you have to open your uh, textbook. You have to keep your textbook uh, ready. Now, 
now in next class we'll discuss examples from exercise 4.2 it is very easiest chapter because already you have learned uh, about the simple equation only the difficulty level is little more compared to sixth standard so i hope you will complete exercise 4.1 now i have discussed all uh, questions from first from first main to sixth main it is not possible to discuss each and every question in 20 minutes so therefore i have taken one one examples from all the mains and we have discussed all the questions